Of all the superb features that rivers contribute to the landscape, maybe none can match the beauty of these. The Tees has a flow rate of 20 cubic metres a second. It's only at a place like this that you get a real idea of how much water that actually is. The high force waterfall. The key to the formation of a waterfall, and this goes for 90% of waterfalls worldwide, is rocks. And here, at high force on the Tees, the river runs across a rock called windstone. So we've got windstone, but very important, there's a second rock at high force. And it's the difference in hardness that's crucial in understanding how the waterfall came about. In this cross section, the windstone is the darker layer of rock on top. It's so hard that the river can't wear it away. The lighter layer of rock underneath is the softer one that I've just smashed with the hammer. It gets slowly worn away by the water swirling at the base of the falls. It's pretty obvious what's going to happen. And this simple process will of course happen again and again. The end result is that the waterfall actually moves upstream from the spot where it started. As it does so, another landform is created. A gash in the landscape with very steep sides and a river at the bottom. A gorge. And a gorge is exactly what lies immediately downstream from the waterfall at high force. Thank you.